Tell people in Genola, Minnesota, they're full of baloney. <laughs> and they'll tell you. <laughs> it must be Wednesday. No, yeah, we're full of it. Wednesdays at the Red Rooster Bar. You come for baloney? Six bucks gets you a bottomless bowl of baked beans and bread. There you go. And a heap. Baloney and... Of alliteration. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> a baloney ring that's been packing the house for more than three decades. I remember coming with my parents. Mary Jansen owns the Red Rooster with her husband. The more the better, usually. Kelly. <laughs> There's nothing better than the smell of fresh bologna. So fresh, 40 minutes before this bologna was served. It was coming out of the smoker at Thielen Meats, two miles up the road in Pierce. It's been smoking since 6.30. <laughs> Now I'm putting it in the cooker. April breezes across daisy fields aren't this fresh. You gotta get the horse ready so you can with the ketchup. You need the bite. <laughs> Eat it with both hands fresh. They come from everywhere. But not, it turns out, unique. I borrowed your idea, yeah, and it worked. Dennis Hoheisel is the former Red Rooster owner. Gets the people out. Who plucked bologna day. All the bread and bologna you could eat. From Patrick's Bar. A mile away. Tomorrow we have probably 40 people already made reservations. Yep, Wednesday and Thursday bologna. They're both good. I go there, they come here. We're all, we're all fine. There's enough bologna to go around. <laughs> take your bologna. I'm gonna take another piece off there before it goes down the other way. It's possible there's a place that exceeds Janola's per capita bologna consumption. There's no better place to go than Janola. But hard to fathom. There we go. A town more adept yeah. at dishing it out. The gospel truth. Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News. <laughs> Genoa. See you next time. Yep. Thank you.